Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. A very quick video today. Um, not an unboxing necessarily, just wanted to show you a few products um, from Standard Bindery. Now, Standard Bindery is a store in uh, Queensland, as Australia, as you can see there in Aspley, uh, and they were book binders online. Now, they have rebranded and have started coming out, releasing their own um, notebooks and some other sort of products. So you can leave the card there, you can get the website, all of that sort of stuff. So they sent me a little parcel of a few things just to sort of show you, give you an idea. Uh, here's a nice little packing note. Thank you for shopping with us, all that sort of stuff. Archive everything being their new logo. Um, you know, there's footage on their YouTube channel. You can scrub, subscribe to mailing lists, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, really nice sort of branding, really nice looking products. I'm going to start with a couple of um, little interesting ones. Firstly, you get something like um, blotting paper. Now, you know, blotting paper is sold by a lot of places. It's got their branding on it, all that sort of stuff. This is five sheets, and this costs um, $7.95 uh, for the five sheets. So that's a pretty good deal. Blotting paper will last you a while, so always handy stuff to have. Next is the leather uh, balsam. I don't know if that's how you say that. Uh, but it's the, uh, the cream that you put on... Um, on a leather journal or book or wallet or something like that to maintain and protect the leather. Uh, it's like a, a uh, yeah, like a, a balm sort of stuff. Um, comes here in a, a 10 millilitre tin. This is their branded version of it. Standard binary there on the top. And once again, with that great low um, branding. That costs $9.95. So, pretty, once again, well priced. Uh, that's, these are Australian uh, prices, of course. The next thing I sent was this little lovely little medallion. Um, which is to attach to, you know, a journal or a pencil case or something like that. I'm going to put it onto my traveller's notebook. Uh, it says it's, it's stamped there with the uh, the logo, the, or the, with a fountain pen nib, and then archive everything. Um, so, yeah, it's it's nice. It's an iron medallion, and these cost uh, $11.95. Now, you can get these uh, in personalised versions with a initial stamped on it. It does cost a bit more, of course, but they are available. So really very cool but the thing I'm most interested in is the notebooks now they sent me two versions of their notebooks they sent me firstly the small version here which I'm not going to unwrap because I'm going to unwrap this uh, in the review of these notebooks I'm going to do a proper review of them um, but in here is two 50 two 80 page books with 52 gram um, Tomo River paper this is cream and then I have the a5 version which is white so this is small so it's um, 124 by 90 so it's sort of smaller than a, it's not as uh, tall as a field notes not quite this passport size just a little bit smaller but it's a really handy sort of size um, yeah made of Tomo River paper which is really great then the a5 version of these notebooks now I've opened these because I've been using one already um, so these come with the same sort of um, packaging, brown paper with the sticker over it, all nicely, nice and secure. Two books, um, and these are the same 52 gram uh, Tomo River paper. This is the cream version, I believe. Now the triple staple bound for security, a 270 gram uh, cover, and then sort of an archiving sheet at the front. Um, these are blank, which is fine by me. Um, if they end up having other, I'm not sure if they've got other versions like Dot or any uh, anything like that at the moment, but um, I think it's basically these are made from standard sort of Tomo River paper, which is very, very nice. With their branding, <coughs> pardon me, their branding there on the back. Um, so I've been using this one for my Robert Oster month, which I'm doing through May, um, logging, a diff uh, f highlighting a different Robert Oster ink each day. So Obviously, when you put down a lot of ink, you're going to get stuff through, but you can see there already nothing sort of from the writing from these pens. And yeah, these are, you know, motor oil, a fine nib, and then Australian 10 dollar blue in a music nib, and sort of nothing's come through, which is nice. Other than, of course, that's where we put the ink down. Now, I've done some writing tests, which I'll show uh, in the review, but I just wanted to show these products um, because it's nice to see an Australian company uh, creating products like this, uh, taking pride in the items that they're producing um, and you know like yes they're not they're not the cheapest sort of products around the small version here for the two books is $17.95 and the large version is $24.95 but they're good quality paper they're good quality binding all of that sort of stuff so they're really not badly priced and they're presented beautifully and it's an Australian company putting all this sort of together so if you're familiar with bookbinders online a lot of their products are still staying they still stock 
a lot of this, uh, the ink brands and pens and notebooks that they stocked before. They've just started uh, producing their own uh, items uh, under the standard bindery uh, new branding, which I think is absolutely great. So if you're not familiar with the store, check it out. If you're in Australia particularly, check out Bookbinders Online, I think, or no, Standard Bindery, <laughs> as they are now. Um, they, are, they have a great range of stuff, good prices, and excellent, excellent service. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. Uh, if you've got uh, uh, any questions or comments, please get in touch on any of my videos here or drop me an email. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your stationary products and I'll talk to you later.